Gun fit is the most critical aspect in all of shooting. Not only is it important to the world-class athlete, it should be understood by the avid outdoorsman and shooting enthusiast. On today's pro tip, I'm going to show you how to fit your shotgun without the help of a trained professional. Oh. The two major factors when talking about gun fit is pitch, which will keep you from getting beat up, and point of impact, which will put you on the target. When we're talking about pitch, we're referring to the angle at which the stock has been cut. Now you can check your pitch at home or your local gun club, provided a competent framer has been used by simply placing the butt of the stock on the ground close to the wall. If your barrels are parallel to the wall, you have either a zero pitch or what we refer to as a neutral stock. If your barrels are leaning away from the wall, you have some degree of down pitch. And likewise, if your barrels are pointing in toward the wall, you have some degree of up pitch. Now, to change the pitch of your shotgun, I'm going to recommend that we use quarters. Now, I like to use quarters for several reasons. They won't collapse under pressure, they're readily accessible, and if you need a soda when you're finished shooting, you always have change. Now, you're going to need a screwdriver probably at this point to loosen your butt pad. But then I want you to place the quarters either at the heel or the toe to make sure you achieve a zero pitch. Place that gun back against the wall and make sure it's parallel. Then let's take it out to the range and shoot it. You may want to bring a friend along to watch your muzzle jump. Oh. Now that wasn't too bad, but let's see if we can do a little bit better. Let's continue adding one quarter at a time till we get up to four quarters, documenting your muzzle jump each time. And the reason that we're doing that is because when we get it right, we want the muzzle to come straight back and shouldn't recoil up into our face. That's what causes us to get hit here. Oh. Oh. Now that we've set the pitch on your shotgun so you won't get beat up, let's talk about point of impact so we can hit what we're aiming at. To do that, you're gonna need a few items. First, you're gonna need a pattern board. This is the pattern board that I'm gonna be shooting today. And as you can see, you don't need anything elaborate. It can be as simple as a piece of cardboard and a hay bale. Also, you're gonna need some moleskin. We're gonna place this moleskin on top of the comb to raise that point of impact. I've paced off 30 yards. Now let's take aim at the pattern board and see what we have. As you can see here, this gun shoots very flat, or what we refer to as a 50-50 pattern. Meaning, that 50% of your pattern is above the target, and 50% of the pattern is below the target. When I'm setting up a gun, I like to have people set it up 60-40, meaning 60% of the pattern is above the target, and 40% of the pattern is below the target. To raise the point of impact, we're simply gonna place this moleskin directly on the comb. Make sure you put it in the same point where your cheek comes in contact with the stock, which is gonna raise that point of impact. Typically, as you aim and place one bead behind the other, you'll achieve a pattern of roughly 50-50. As you raise your cheek on the comb, your point of impact is raised as well. Now that we've raised our height by placing the moleskin on the comb, you can see that the beads are stacked one on top of the other. This should give us that 60-40 pattern that we're looking for. Let's go out and put a fresh pattern board up and shoot it one more time. As you can see here, I've achieved that pattern of 60% high and 40% low, just like we were looking for with one piece of moleskin. Now, if your pattern is still too low, don't be afraid of adding more moleskin. And likewise, if your pattern's too high, don't be afraid to use a sander and take a little wood off also. But just make sure you do that in very small increments and do it from the front of the comb to the back of the comb. Now, you can see that this is a very tedious process, but I promise it'll be worth every minute you put in on the range. Until next time, stay Army strong. Oh.